to turn the tables on you two uh, ladies, and I'll be interviewing <laughs> you today, that's and right, we can learn right. a little bit about the history of Miller Chat and yeah. how successful it's been over the years. Okay. So we'll start with Robin. I know, Robin, you were the originator of the program, yes. maybe five or six years ago, I, I believe. Nine. Nine years ago. <laughs> wow, yeah, time does fly. So how did you get the idea to do a talk show for public access? Because a lot of people, you know, don't know much about public access TV, don't know that's how true. they can get a t uh, television show. I know eventually I'll do one in Worcester for WCCA. Mm -hmm. TV channel 13 and I've taken a course I had to take a course for 10 Saturdays a year and a half oh. ago really an educational course Ooh. so uh, they made me really pay my dues <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they do that to everyone it might have been just me <laughs> well actually you do here um, what happened because I live in Shrewsbury I saw um, these people on this channel that were not your commercial channel and I said who are these people and I said oh they're residents of Shrewsbury I said oh if they could do that I could do that so I originally wanted to do a show in disabilities, and they said I had to come in and, like, you take classes. So I had to take six weeks of classes, uh, Tuesdays from, like, 7 to 9, and learn about all this fancy stuff, lights and camera and, and microphones and, and nothing that I was taught in graduate school. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was totally new to me and very intimidating. So I got the idea to do a show in disabilities and elder issues. So I decided uh, I did it solo in May 1999, and then Doris came on a couple of years later. I see. So Doris is the, the new sidekick. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and she's the sidekick. I know you, are, you really enjoy what you're doing here. Oh, yes, I do enjoy show. it. So uh, what do you like best about the challenges of a show, a show like this? Trying to find people to come on, topics, and right. Is topics it difficult to find, to find guests to come on? Is that Sometimes that? it's. Sometimes. Uh -huh. And it depends on the subject, mm -hmm. because you can't be too controversial. I see, that's right, mm -hmm. yeah. You've got to uh -huh. be very careful and... Uh, now, who have been some of your favorite guests, or you have better shows along the mm -hmm. way? Some I'm sure you're, mm -hmm. you're excited about, and they've worked out very, very well. So, mm -hmm. any shows along the past nine years, Robin, that you remember well and say, gee, we should probably do that again in the future, too? Well, I know we do a lot of show on health care. Right. We had Al Norman, the executive director of Mass Home Care. Well, that's a very good topic, too. Yeah. You know, a very timely topic. Everywhere yeah. around the country, not just this area. Certainly in Worcester, I know we talk about that. So he was really good, and yeah. he talked about funding for community-based care at home, because he's really an advocate. I mean, he really knows how to rock the boat here. That's good, and especially with people living longer these yes, days. absolutely. Having more medical and health needs. Oh, definitely. So he's somebody that we like to have maybe have on again in the future. Right. Prescription advantage. Oh, yes, prescription advantage was one great thing. And Mass Senior Action is the one that really fought for that. I see. And they you, fought hard. I know you were part of that, Dot, yep. right? Mass Senior right. Action for several years. Yeah. remember seeing some of the meetings up at uh, the Senior Center. Right. All right, so they meet there monthly, and uh, I yep. know they appreciate all that you did for them for, during those years, too. But I just wore myself out. Really? <laughs> I've, I've had to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> we all know about that, certainly. <laughs> Uh, so do you get much feedback from the audience? Because you have a, a, a nice audience I know built up over the years in the town of Shrewsbury mm -hmm. and several people get a chance to see your show even in Worcester right. and they, mm -hmm. you know, I've heard some comments because mm -hmm. I've been on your show before right, right. and so people will say, oh, right. I saw you're on the, the Shrewsbury <laughs> TV show with Robin and Dot. Yeah. So do you get much feedback? I do. I, I, when I started the show in May 1999, I had no business plan. Some people mm -hmm. have to, like a business, you have to have a business plan. Right. Had no idea where it was going to go or how long we were going to be on the air. Um, I didn't even think people were watching because with 500 channels that people have now, plus the iPods and the MP3s, you figure how many people actually watch public mm -hmm. access. Right. And to my surprise, when I go in stores or when my spouse goes in stores, they'll say, hey, I saw you on TV. Or they'll say, hey, I saw your wife on TV. Right. So and Worcester watch. and Westboro. And then we're on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, on YouTube also. Yes. Mm -hmm. www.youtube slash Millichat. So all the shows are on YouTube? I would say 31 clips. Because really? they only allow 10 minutes, and there's certain things we can put on and certain things we can't put on. Regarding children, I'd rather not. I see. Um, because. So is that work to get your show, parts of your show on YouTube, is that done from the studios yep. here in Shrewsbury? Oh, yeah. I it's see. very easy. It's, uh, it, again, it was first intimidating to do, but I finally got the kick of it for YouTube. I see. So if someone just went to YouTube mm -hmm. and punched yeah. in Miller Chat, yep. then they would get those segments. Yeah. I have 10,300 hits as of today. Wow. Wow. That is terrific. Yeah, I get the I get the daily statistics on it. Which does show too that people obviously are watching yeah. the show here in Shrewsbury too. Well yeah, because it doesn't have commercials. 
now when That's you watch right. a program, you have five minutes of commercials right. in between. Right. And then the, when the program comes back, you forgot what you just saw. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, it happens on the radio, too, when right. some of our local talk shows, too. Yeah. It, it, even um, um, the ball games. They're already they're already stick they're continuing and then you gotta right. catch up and say okay who had a home run right. what did the pitcher strike out <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you choose the topics for your yeah. show because you, you must go back and forth on that and have different yeah. discussions and well, opinions we choose them by what's in the paper um, different things coming up on health care on uh, access to um, medical needs and everything uh -huh. and uh, that's where the topics come from, and then you have to find the people that are are equipped to to talk about it. I see. So healthcare is probably the primary issue. Yeah. Yes. Right. And yeah. mental health care too. I've been yeah. covering a little bit about that too. Not many I people only know what's going on. Right. Right. And I don't know but housing issues. I mean, it's just the point is when you put on the internet, there's a lot of good news and a lot of junk news. So we try right. to cipher. Yeah. In terms that's, of social service issues. That's great. I think one show that we had on last year was out of, I think it was Rutland, a fella that has horses for disabled people. Right, Fordswick Farms. Yeah. That that's terrific. Was unbelievable. So they're riding those horses, you mean? These kids are riding, and he had one little girl that had six lessons, and oh, she wow. won. Isn't that terrific? Well, that's great. So you've done a pretty good job with this show then, and yeah. that you'll keep it going. Yeah, which is bright. I've gone on the road too. You have. I have. I, uh -huh. I did Four Witch Farms. Right. With actually our camera person today, Cheryl mm -hmm. Leatham and Jackie Samalis, they did a show for their program, Kids First, and the horse and I did not get along. Oh, really? <laughs> I 